Savannah Cat vs Bengal Cat What are the differences between the two cat breeds? Savannah Cats and Bengal Cats are medium to large sized cats. The Savannah is typically described as a medium sized breed, however. Savannah's weight can range from 8 to 20 pounds, sometimes more. Males are larger than females. Bengals weigh 8 to 15 pounds or more. The Savannah is a challenging and rewarding companion. If you want a low energy cat to snuggle all day while you binge on Netflix, think twice about adopting a Savannah cat. This breed has lots of energy and needs physical and mental stimulation. If they don't get the activity they need, they may get bored and make their own fun which can mean destructive, unwanted behaviors around the house. For a diligent human who keeps up with this cat's needs, the Savannah makes for a fun-loving, active family member with plenty of affection to give. The Bengal could never be called delicate. They're athletes, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if they belong in the jungle. Despite their wild appearance, Bengal cats are actually quite affectionate with their human families. They also have high energy and a fun-loving, playful side. They want to stay active and need a home that can match their energy. If you can fulfill the Bengal's need for exercise, you'll have a smart, loving cat who can keep you on your toes. If you want to live with a sweet, quiet lap cat, don't get a savanna. This is an active, adventurous feline who enjoys life in the fast lane. Her athletic body allows her to jump to very high places, and her questing spirit leads her to take well to walks on a leash, seek out water to play in, and thoroughly explore her surroundings. This is a confident, alert, curious, and friendly cat. While some cats are retiring sorts, most savannas are gracious hosts, who will greet your guests with aplomb, as well as close companions who will want to spend time interacting with you. Be sure you have a well-developed sense of humor if you live with one of these cats, they are not above playing jokes on you. It takes a highly intelligent person to outwit a savanna. You may need to switch faucet styles to prevent them from turning on their own private waterworks or attach childproof locks to keep them out of cabinets. Don't forget to protect breakables. Put them away where the savanna can't knock them over as she makes one of her famous leaps, and ensure electrical cords are protected from gnawing kittens. Provide savanna with toys that will stand up to rough play and interactive games that will challenge her mind. To live happily with savanna, plan to spend plenty of time interacting with her. Be sure she has interesting toys to occupy her when you're not around, reward her when she does things you like, and redirect her energy and interests when she does things you don't like. Protect special belongings by putting them out of reach. If all of this sounds like too much work, choose a different cat. The Bengal is revered for its beautiful coat and outgoing personality, but these cats aren't for casual pet owners. Bengals are smart and cunning animals that crave attention and are always exploring. A Bengal is a handful, but you can rest assured that life with one will never be boring. The Bengal is highly active and highly intelligent. This makes him fun to live with, but he can sometimes be challenging. On the whole, the Bengal is a confident, talkative, friendly cat who is always alert. Nothing escapes his notice. He likes to play games, including fetch, and he's a whiz at learning tricks. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. The Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. On the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. Responsible breeders make every effort to avoid health complications and genetic disorders in their felines, there are some conditions you should be aware of. Savannah cats are a healthy breed, with no known genetic conditions or other health problems. They are at risk of suffering from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, thickening heart muscle but are no more prone to heart problems than other crossbreeds. Bengals may suffer from distal neuropathy and flat-chested kitten syndrome, both of which typically resolve on their own as the kitties mature. As they age, Bengals may develop other problems like hip dysplasia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, patellar luxation, and progressive retinal atrophy. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Brush Savannah and Bengal's short to medium length coats once or twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim their nails every couple of weeks. 
Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping them indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. If possible, build them a large outdoor enclosure where they can jump and climb safely. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Be aware some cities or states have laws against keeping hybrid or exotic animals. While the cats registered with Tika are considered fully domestic, a first or second generation savanna may face restrictions. Check the laws in your area before purchasing any savanna that could fall under laws governing hybrids. The active and social savanna in Bengal are a good choice for families with older children and cat-friendly dogs. They like to play, learns tricks easily, are often willing to walk on a leash and appreciates the attention she receives from children who treat her politely and with respect. If you are away during the day, it's probably a good idea to provide them with a companion. Most savannas get along well with dogs, especially if they were raised with them. Otherwise, a period of adjustment may be necessary for both savanna and the dog. Introduce them gradually, and ensure they are both always under control until you are sure that they have come to an amicable understanding. Some pets aren't safe in the presence of this stealthy cat. Think twice about getting a savanna in Bengal if you have pet birds, pocket pets such as hamsters, mice, guinea pigs, or rats, or an aquarium full of fish. The savanna is a very fine hunter and can probably get past any safeguards that you attempt to put up. If you're in the market for an affectionate feline who's more than just a lazy lap cat, you may want to check out the impressive Bengal cat. These cats make terrific companions, but they'll definitely keep you on your toes. Our feline's companion has evolved through the centuries into various different breeds and crossbreeds. They have been loving pets and loyal to humans for centuries. Though all cats are not the same, while they do share some common characteristics, every breed has its own unique traits and behavior. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.